hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be something new on my channel um, I'm gonna start like a little mini style series on my channel don't worry I'm still going to have skincare stuff on my channel ladies don't worry about it but um, I do have um, a group on Facebook about style and I feel like you know this is my way to contribute to the group as well so uh, as you guys know, especially the ladies who are in my groups, you guys know that I have been on a style journey and I have been working on um, updating my wardrobe basically and that's basically what I have been doing for the past couple months and I had so many things in my wardrobe that I, had, I ended up throwing out. I kept a couple pieces I kept because I wanted to show you guys something as an um, example. Okay, so um, in the age of fast fashion, ladies, it is um, it is not easy getting your you getting your hands on good quality clothing, especially at a reasonable price. So um, I think I'm going to title this title this video how to find good quality items on AliExpress. I guess like how to shop on AliExpress because. Um, I do shop on AliExpress a lot and ladies just a disclaimer okay I got this dress that I'm wearing from AliExpress just a disclaimer ladies um, if you think that um, you are above AliExpress and you think that you're better than that you know and uh, if you can afford if you cannot if you can afford designer items you know that is great I'm so happy for you do you Google but at the end of the day I have other priorities I'm a grown woman I would rather um, invest my money in land real estate whatnot instead of buying um, a Louis Vuitton bag or something like that because you all know that I'm not rich because if I was wealthy I wouldn't be doing all of this I wouldn't be here on YouTube I would be living my best life on a yacht somewhere in my mansion quarantine in my mansion or something like that yeah so that's something that I just wanted to get out of the way really quickly um because i seen the shady comments you know about level and gurus shopping at Shein and, and whatnot like i see that you know and you guys you i swear to god like you guys have a lot of time time on your hand but anyway i just don't want to get into that because this is going to turn into a rant so i have always been real with you guys i will always be real with you guys i do not have time for deception and lying like i don't have time for that so in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to shop on AliExpress and I'm going to t tell you guys what I look for in a good quality um, I, um, piece of clothing. So when shopping, especially let's say for example a dress online, you would see a lot of beautiful pictures because everything looks amazing on a model but then you buy the dress and you bring it home. It, it comes in the mail you put it on and it's a disaster and I'm gonna help you ladies um, reduce a lot of that um, a lot of that issue I'm not gonna say you will be able to um, stop it completely because at the end of the day if you are shopping online if you're shopping online you do not get to try on the clothes okay so you know you, you are basically taking a gamble some things that I look for and I always look for especially in a good quality dress and I'm just using dress as an example. It can be a trouser, it can be a jacket, it can be a coat, it doesn't matter. Um, I look for quality material, the material. Um, usually on AliExpress and Shein, they are required, especially on AliExpress, they are required to disclose the material that they use to make the item of clothing. So I'm going to show, I'm going to, um, I'm going to show some, I'm going to put a video on here where I'm going to show you I'm going through AliExpress. So when you go on AliExpress and you, and you find an item, what you would see, you would see uh, right under that item, you're going to see um, size, whatnot, and color. Then under that, you're going to see specifications. So I always click on that and all the information is there. It's going to tell you if there's a zipper, if it's going to tell you if there's lining, it's going to tell you what material um, the item, the item of clothing was made from. So I try to get natural material. I do purchase, I do um, wear polyester because this dress is obviously polyester chiffon 
um, I'm not saying that I'm um, 100% polyester because even higher end brands use polyester so um, don't be on here being a snob and thinking that you're above it all if that's what you're here for please leave okay so I look for again quality material the material needs to be sturdy it needs it does it shouldn't be see-through um, it shouldn't be too flimsy it should um, be good quality material second thing I look for especially if it's a dress that I'm buying there must be an opening to the dress there must be zippers or buttons because when I'm wearing dresses this is a dress that I, that I like to climb into the dress like I would literally put my foot into the dress and pull it up I do not like to put my dresses my clothing my sweaters I don't care like, I don't I don't care what it is I do not like to put that stuff over my head and struggle to get it on because that if that gives me so much anxiety I hate doing that I get my makeup on the on the clothing and it's not a good look so there has to be an opening so if the neckline is not wide enough and, I, and it looks like I wouldn't be able to get into the dress unless I put it over my head I'm not gonna get that dress so I'm gonna show you a dress um, that I got on ASOS is it ASOS yeah the tag is right here ASOS can you guys see that this is not going to focus but I got this dress on ASOS it's a beautiful dress the material is nice and sturdy it's that kind of like it's a juicy material what do you call it it is um, it is polyester so it is a polyester dress and the color is beautiful the dress looks amazing it looks like it looks like a wrap dress when you wear it okay so it's a beautiful dress I love the color apparently blue looks amazing on me which um, explains the whole blue black the, um, the whole blue backdrop but yeah um, beautiful dress okay um, it has um, a shoulder pad and everything you know so that makes the dress look more structured but the issue that I have with this dress is that there's no zipper. Like, there's no zipper, no zipper whatsoever. No zipper in the back, no zipper in the side. Um, the neckline is very, very small, so I cannot climb into this dress. This this little hole is not going to go over my hips. So I have no choice to put this over my head to get it on. And then, to add insult to injury, it is a long sleeve dress. Do you know how difficult it is to get a dress on over your head that you have to wiggle and fight to get it on and it's long sleeve like I have to call my husband and I, I be screaming for my husband to help me get into this dress so never ever again did I ever make this mistake I like to climb into my dress my dress needs to have an opening so that I can get into the dress okay so another dress I'm gonna show you also um, also there's no there's lining in the dress which is um which is important because I like lining. However, there is no lining from the waist down, which is fine because the material is pretty thick, and you know you put your spanks on and you're good to go. So this dress, um, of course, it's polyester, and I got this dress from Boohoo. Yes, Boohoo. The tag is still there. Hold on. I, used, I bought a lot of stuff on Boohoo a while back and I would not shop on Boohoo ever again because I feel like the quality is not really worth the price. You know, like I can get these same items on AliExpress, the exact same item on AliExpress for way cheaper and what a lot of people do not know is that all these stores like, you know, Fashion Over and all these, um, these boutiques or Poly, all of their stuff is made in China. So if it's made in China, you are going to find it on AliExpress. Like all you have to do is take a picture of the dress or the, the item of clothing, put a picture up on, on Ali, in the AliExpress search bar, and you're going to find the item or the dress right there on AliExpress for literally half or a fraction of the price. But yeah, um, this dress is like a beautiful off-the-shoulder um, yellow dress. I do not know why I thought I looked good in yellow. But you know, um, I've I've recently found out what my color palette was, which is winter. Um, I'm, I'm if you guys want me to make a video about that, I'll do that. But um, there's no zipper in this dress. There's no opening. But the neckline is wide enough for me to climb into it, which is which is not um, a total deal breaker. Okay. 
and the other dress that I'm gonna look for I'm gonna show you guys is this dress that I also got on boohoo yes definitely boohoo and you guys have seen me in this dress before I've had this dress for a long time and of course no zipper no lining um, I have to pull it climb into the dress and pull it all the way up so I mean the, the neckline is wide enough to go over my hips and um, but you know like the, this area right here is super duper tight so your like your arms is like this when you put it on and another thing that was super duper annoying about this dress is that the dress did not have a slit in the back you know? it did not have a slit in the back so I couldn't walk in this dress like my steps was like I was making like these really tiny steps because I couldn't stride in this dress so I had to take this dress to my seamstress and she made a slit in the back so that I was able to walk better in the dress so yeah yeah now the reason why I showed you these dresses is because I will never get caught and buy dresses like this ever again I'm gonna show you a dress that I recently got from Aliexpress give me a second okay so this dress I recently got an Ali on Aliexpress and this dress checks out all the criteria that I look for in a good quality um, piece of clothing okay there are buttons in the front so you can open the dress from the front there's also a just um, a, um, a zip in the back so you can open the zip in the back like you would never have an issue getting into this dress at all like literally this is like a dream come true for me okay so if i want to get the dress off like i can't get the zip down from the back i can open it from the front i can get in and get out of the dress easily so that's that's um one um important criteria that i look for another thing that i look for is uh, like i said earlier natural fabric and this dress is made from 100 percent linen and the, and it also it also has a lining which is amazing so it's 100 percent linen and the lining is 100 percent cotton so it checks out and i didn't pay a ton of money for this i think i paid like 75 dollars for this on aliexpress um you can ladies you there there is good quality items on aliexpress i wouldn't say shein because i mean if you guys want me to do a video on shein or whatnot also, if you guys would like to do like, like me to do a haul, um, let me know and I'll do that for you guys. But yes, this dress checks out. And this dress is a, um, a Zimmerman dupe and it is the exact replica. Like, I'm not even kidding. Even down to the last detail, even the original dress has 29 buttons. This dress has 29 buttons. It's the exact replica of the Zimmerman dress. So uh, you can get amazing items on AliExpress. So, Okay, so that's what that was one of the items that really checked out. So again, I'm gonna go over um, what I look for to get quality items on AliExpress because not not everything you buy on AliExpress has to be a disaster. Ladies, do not get sucked in by the photos, by just the pictures because um, it's AliExpress, y'all. You know the details is in the specifications. Always hit the special specification tab, and there's where you're gonna get the information you can get a hundred percent silk you can get linen you can get cotton you can get all natural made um, um, material and you can also get polyester because in the in the world right now it's very it's virtually impossible to get away from polyester so um, yeah that's what I look for like it has to have a lining it's so important because a lot of these um, clothing that come with lining, they really, they really are, can be very unflattering on your body. And if you do not wear pants with them, you just gonna be out here looking crazy. So, um, because I don't like putting a dress on, and you can see like literally every single dimple in my butt. Like that is not. I don't like that look at all. It's not for me. And yeah, so this is basically how I shop on AliExpress. I am very very particular and an, another tip I would have for you guys also if you see a beautiful photo on Aliexpress of a dress that you love or trousers doesn't matter I'm just using dresses because most of my wardrobe consists of dresses um, look and check to see if the seller has actual pictures of the product 
You can also um, DM the seller and ask the seller to send you pictures. Some of them may ask you to add them on WhatsApp. It's fine. Like I have a lot of these AliExpress sellers on WhatsApp. But um, yeah, ask them for a picture. If they have the dress in stock, ask them for an actual photo, like a photo that they took themselves of the item and not just the photo that they got from the internet because like a lot of the stuff that is made on AliExpress are just basically dupes of other brands. It is what it is. Um, I have no I, I have no problem by I'm buying dupes. I'm not here, I'm not gonna come on here and fake a lifestyle for you guys because I am not getting anything from faking a lifestyle. But anyway guys, um I'm again I'm going to um stick around ladies and I'm going to insert a video and show you guys how I look for um, items on AliExpress. Okay guys, so I'm going to head over to AliExpress and show you guys how I find items on AliExpress. So here I'm using the search bar, I'm using the photo search bar. So all you do is you get a picture from your photo album and you put it in the search bar on AliExpress and it finds the item for you. So if you saw, if you see an item on a nice boutique on Instagram, on Fashion Nova, wherever you shop at, just take a screenshot of the item and put it on AliExpress and you're going to find it and you're going to see that it's a lot cheaper. Um, I saw this dress on AliExpress and I thought it was pretty cute, which is why I decided to get this one. Now here's a feature on AliExpress that a lot of people ignore and I used to be one of them. When you scroll down to the bottom of the picture, you're going to see that tab says specification. You click on that and you're going to see a menu that comes up with all the information. And this is where I search to see what material the dress was made of. And as you can see, the dress is made of rayon and chiffon, which is great. Um, this is why I always... Um, choose the more expensive item because usually the more expensive item from your sh from your search is usually the item that is better quality usually um, literally nine out of ten times it's like that on AliExpress so this one is forty dollars with you when you look when you compare this to the other searches everything was like seventeen dollars twenty dollars this one was the more expensive one and this is how I usually shop because at the end of the day, I am looking for quality. And even on AliExpress, if an item is expensive, it is still nowhere as expensive as, um, you know, if you find the item on Macy's or um, Opali or any one of those Instagram brands. Or it doesn't matter where you shop, but yeah. Also, a lot of something else that a lot of people don't know is that you can search by material so let's say you're looking for a silk blouse you can type in the search bar silk you can search by the material but a lot of items are going to come up in your search so just make sure that you check the specification to make sure that the material is what they say it is so i've encountered a little problem um, and this is common on AliExpress because with AliExpress you really have to be very picky, um, you know, choosing your items and your sellers and stuff like that. But I found this dress and this dress is so beautiful. Like the fabric is beautiful. It looks soft. It drapes really well on the model's, model's body. Now I'm looking at the reviews and these are um, three reviews with real people that are wearing the dress and the dress looks exactly like the picture. However, there are no pictures of the back of the dress. I already checked the specifications. Um, the material is chiffon, um, polyester, which I don't mind because the price is like, I mean, $20. And, you know, I do like chiffon anyway because I love that chiffon. is very flowy. But the issue I have is that I cannot tell if there's a zipper on this dress. Like, I cannot tell if there's a zipper on the side or if there's a zipper at the back. And the seller did not post a single picture of the back of this dress because all the pictures that the seller posted as you guys can see right here you can only see the front of the dress which was a little bit frustrating for me but you know usually um you can get around that if you really do like the dress what you can do is contact the seller and ask the seller questions and you can even ask the seller to send a picture so let's say there's a seller and they have a dress but they do not have a dress of the actual item 
only like only the um, uh, pictures of the model you can ask the seller to send you a picture of the item if they have it in stock so you I just go scroll down to contact seller as you can see and I decided that you know what I'm going to send the seller a message because I really want to know what's going on with this dress I want to know if there's a zipper on this dress or not um, which is what I'm doing here but up until this point where I'm editing this video the seller did respond to me very quickly like literally five minutes later the seller responded and she was like um, no there are no zippers sorry which was very disappointing for me so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep looking on the side for this dress with a zipper um, so I'm just gonna post um, um, you know put the picture in the search bar and find this dress because I'm sure I'll be able to find this dress with a zipper but anyway I really hope that this video was helpful if you have any other questions make be, to, be sure to ask in the group and i'll be happy to help you thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in another video bye